Father, Lord, we thank you. For our children, for our loved ones, we thank you. For our nation, Nigeria, we thank you. For our wonderful state, Lagos State, we thank you. For our various businesses, we thank you. For those in school, we thank you. Some are vacated, some are yet to vacate. But Father, in it all, we say thank you for sending our children through this academic year. Right from September, they took a break for Christmas, they resumed in January, took a break for Easter, resumed after Easter, and here we are at the end of another school year. We thank you for the testimonies, thank you for the promotions, thank you for the increase on all sides. We thank you for good health. We thank you for sound mind. We thank you for shelters of our heads. Thank you for the, for, for the food on the table. Thank you for the clothes on our backs. We say thank you. We say thank you. We can gather here this morning in peace. Father, we say thank you. And despite all the tension in the land, we can still move around in peace. We can go where we want to go, when we want to go. We can open church. We can open our businesses. Father, we say thank you. We go to shops. We can see things to buy. Father, these things we don't take for granted and we say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. You deserve the glory and the honor Lord, we lift our hands in worship. And the honor, Lord, we lift our hands in worship. As we bless your holy name, for you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, no one else like you, there is no one like you Father indeed there is no one else like you you are God all by yourself and Father we ask that you honor us this morning with your presence do unto us as you propose to do this morning overrule the agenda of man and Father our prayer is that only your will Counsel be done here in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you please pray for yourself? You know why you're here this morning, another Sunday morning. Talk to your Father. I believe you have expectations, you have desires. Talk to your Father this morning. His ears are not heavy that he cannot hear. Neither his arms too short that they cannot deliver. The faintest of cries, God hears. The most sincere of hearts, God sees and God hears. The confidence we have when we praise that he hears us. Not only does he hear, he answers us. And it shows us great and mighty things. And it does for us great and mighty things we cannot do by ourselves. That is why we pray. And that is why we are confident that he will hear and he will do. And he will change our situations. So talk to him this morning. Pray regarding the word we're going to hear that God will speak to us expressly. <laughs> 